Top 7 Best Luxury Electric Cars 2022 Number 1. Porsche Taken Cross Turismo. Porsche has broadened out the range of its first all-electric model, the Taken, quite a bit since the car first zapped onto the scene in 2020. You can now have one with one drive motor or two, with four-wheel drive or two with an indecent amount of power, or just a lot of it, and also in either four-door swoopy saloon form, or as pseudo-estate style Cross Turismo instead. It's the kind of breadth of choice that has transformed a breakthrough sporting EV into a luxury segment contender with enough pull to have outsold every other Porsche model in the UK. The Taycan is a world-class operator however you configure it, but the extended cargo space and ride height boosted extra versatility of the Cross Turismo version certainly don't appear to have weakened the car's dynamic powers. This car rides with an uncannily absorptive and poised sort of body control, but it retains chatty communicative steering, fine handling response, ideal handling balance and security, and as much real-world pace as you could ever expect to deploy on the road. Electric range isn't class leading, but 250 miles is certainly possible for most versions of the car in mixed, real-world used. Number 2. Daguar I-Pace. The first luxury electric car from a mainstream manufacturer to directly challenge Tesla at the high end of the market, the I-Pace delivers on its brief with standout handling dynamics. First-rate interior quality and a striking design that's slightly more SUV than saloon yet is both attractive and innovative. This car sets the standard for ride and handling among its all-electric crossover SUV peers, delivers strong performance from its twin 197 bhp motors, and feels like a premium branded electric car should an unshackled clean sheet design. The I-Pace will rapid charge at up to 100 kilowatts, but its slightly disappointing real-world range dents its potential as a long-distance tourer somewhat. 220 miles is not a result worth celebrating, and moreover, the I-Pace's slightly buggy charging software seems to trip it up more often than other EVs are when you're out and about, trying to get plugged in. If you're unlikely to rely on public rapid charging facilities or routinely to trouble the outer limits of the car's electric autonomy potential, this is a car we'd consider before most rivals. It's that impressive to drive, as well as really interesting and appealing to behold. Number 3. Audi e-tron Quattro, e-tron Quattro Sportback and e-tron S Quattro. Audi has distilled the various qualities for which its revered brand is known and given all of them a new future-proofed home in its first series production electric car the e-tron quattro suv size to fit in between the firm's existing q5 and q7 models but offering interior space to rival the latter the e-tron is powered by a separate electric motor per axle and develops 402 bhp and 487 pounds feet of torque in boost driving mode the jaguar i-pace is smaller lighter torquier and faster but the e-tron beats its close british rival on overall battery capacity offering 95 kilowatt hours of storage which is good for a claimed wltp combined range of 249 miles in day-to-day -day use expect to see between 210 and 220 miles of that before the battery goes flat our first taste of the e-tron came in late 2018 on roads out in the middle east where the car impressed most with its classy and refined cabin ambience its quiet cruising abilities and its Audi typical apparent build quality. The driving experience was impressive, too, not least for its responsiveness and muscular feel up to motorway speeds, while precise and well-balanced handling completed the picture. Subsequent tests in the UK, not least with the recent Sportback variant, show that the car's ride quality is also a selling point. So the regular e-tron strong suits make it a superb luxury car, although it doesn't have quite as much driver appeal as certain rivals. Audi's solution to this has been to launch the 496 bhp e-tron S Sportback, whose sensationally versatile rear axle drive unit gives it a degree of handling adjustability and involvement beyond the basic e-tron. At nearly £90,000, it's pricey, but potentially worth it for pace, panache and the novelty factor of safely sending an electric SUV sideways on a whim. Number 4. Mercedes-Benz Eek. The Mercedes Eek is to the X, what the E-Class is to the S-Class. At least some things in the automotive world still make sense. It's every inch the downsized X, for better and worse, from its teardrop shape outline to its almost seamlessly smooth surfaces, and it's ever so gently arsing one bow silhouette. The Eek uses a shortened version of the XEVA2 platform, which means there isn't quite room for the same mammoth batteries, but 90 kilowatt hours of usable capacity is still an impressive number, and means the Eek 350 Plus has a quoted range of 394 miles. 
in the UK, we will get E300, E350 Plus and twin motor, four-wheel drive AMG E53 versions of it, the uppermost and lowermost, coming along slightly later than the mid-ranger, while other markets will get four-wheel drive E500 and AMG E43 versions as well. In practice, it's not quite as deeply impressive as the X, and we're still unconvinced about the X use of space and how the X looks translate to this shorter car. However, it's still more than impressive enough to make it into this list. Number 5. Mercedes EC. An outright triumph in our electric SUV group test in September 2019 heralded the arrival of a new all-electric champion for people looking to combine practicality with performance and luxury with sustainability in their next big car purchase, while also securing a car that can easily be used on a daily basis on UK roads. Back then, the Mercedes EC400 brushed aside challenges from key rivals en route to its big moment, overcoming all by virtue of its technology laden and upmarket interior, its impressive blend of comfort and driver appeal, and its first-rate infotainment and navigation systems. You could say that an Audi e-tron Quattro is a better luxury car, and a Jaguar I-Pace a better driver's car, but the X package is nonetheless complete and convincing. Sharing its platform with a related GLC, the EC has twin electric motors, torque vectoring four-wheel drive, and combined peak outputs of 402 bhp and 564 pounds-feet. WLTP verified battery range is 259 miles officially, with our tests suggesting that between 80% and 90% of that is reproducible in mixed real-world driving. Number 6. The MW iX3. The MW has changed tack on its strategy for electrification. Having conceived the iBrand to contain its very first EV and plug-in hybrid, it is now spreading electric cars among its wider model range, and the iX3 was the first of its new wave EVs to hit the streets. It's also the first car that BMW has produced in China for export markets. Using a rear-mounted motor offering up to 282 bhp, and with a battery of 74 kWh of usable capacity for a maximum claimed WLTP range of 285 miles, the iX3 isn't quite as fast or as long-legged as some of its rivals. And priced from £62,000, it isn't cheap, either. But its trump card may prove to be DC rapid charging potential of up to 350 kilowatts as an option, which can restore an empty battery to 80% in little more than half an hour, where a compatible charger is available. Practicality, handling and luxury level refinement are all very creditable, but there may not be quite enough else to make this car stand out in a fast-growing growing EV segment. Number 7. Tesla Model X. The Model X is the biggest of Tesla's model army, and the only seven-seater. Even though it weighs more than 2.5 tons, it's still a car capable of startling performance, although its range suffers somewhat as a result of its bulk. Tesla's Falcon rear doors are the car's big party trick, but be careful opening them when the car is in a packed car park or a low-roofed multi-story. It has a slightly stiff-legged ride, disappointing cabin isolation and handling that's grippy and direct, but not exactly exciting. This remains about the only six or seven seat electric car you can buy, but unless you really need something so large, we'd avoid it.